Hello guys, I'm Shatara and this is my student Jasmine. Hi. We are diving into the fascinating world of psychology. Particularly today, we will focus on emotions. However, before we start, Jasmine, could you tell me what comes to mind when you hear the word psychology? Um, okay, so I think pretty much psychology is the study of our minds and how it influences our thinking, pretty much. That is right. Psychology is a scientific study of our minds and how the, um, they influence our behavior. There's a beauty in understanding how we think, feel, and behave. Now let's break it down a little bit, Jazz. The mind refers to our thoughts, emotions, memories, and perceptions. While our behavior decomposes everything we do, how we react to situations. We are social beings, right? And as such, we inherently have motions. Can you give me an example of an emotion to you? Um, happiness will be a good example. Exactly. Happiness is one of an emotion. Emotions are complex. Psychology states that involve a mixture of psychology, arousal, expressive behaviors, and subject feelings. They play a significant role in how we perceive and interact with the world around us. Now, let's explore some common emotions. Think about a time, I'm going to say when you felt happy. Okay. What are some of the physical sensations that you experienced from that, Jasmine? Mm, when I feel happy or the times that I did feel happy, I pretty much feel like smiling, you know, laughing. My heart is pretty much filled with warmth and, you know, just a burst of energy. Great observations. When we're happy, we often experience positive physical sensations like smiling, laughter, warmth in the chest, and increased energy. These physical sensations are just an aspect of emotional experiences, I would say. Now, let's talk about expressive behaviors. Okay. How do we express happiness, I would say, outwardly. Um, I think a good way to uh, pretty much express happiness is like maybe a, a hug or just, you know, hugging someone or pretty much like giving them a high five or something like that, you know. Absolutely. When we're happy, happy I'm sorry, we often express, express it through behaviors like jumping, hugging, yeah. high-fiving. Mm -hmm. You know, things to that nature. These behaviors communicate our emotions to others and can also, I would say, reinforce our state of emotion. Right. Okay? So, lastly, let's discuss subjective feelings, I would say. How would you describe the feeling of happiness? Um... Okay, so like the feeling to me would be like more like it's just everything is right in the world. So just everything just feels comfortable and it just, you know, the energy, just everything is just right in the world. So, yeah. Well said, I would say. Happiness is often described as a sense of contentment, joy, or feeling like everything is right in the world. Right. Just everything. These subjective feelings are deeply personal it can vary from person to person because everyone has their own way of expressing mm -hmm. it, right? You're right. So, to recap, emotions are complex psychology states that involve psychology, arousal, expressive behaviors, and subjective feelings. They play a crucial role in how we experience and interact with the world around us. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. Would you agree? I would agree. Okay, that concludes our lessons today. I encourage you to reflect your own emotional experiences and how they shape the, your perceptions and behaviors. Remember, psychology is all about understanding ourselves and others. Have a great day. And again, you have Shatara, the instructor, and my student, Jasmine. Today, psychology was the subject. Thank have a great you. day.